what is Kundalini Awakening? There is this life force energy, this life force frequency, this consciousness that is often referred to as Kundalini. And it is an energy, a, a life force potential that exists within our spine. It is very much connected to the spine. And this Kundalini energy in its dormant state is located right at the root of our spine, right at the I guess it's the coccyx, I believe, right at the base of the spine, where we've got what we call the root chakra, the base chakra, sometimes represented by a red energy. And the Kundalini life force energy, in a sense, lives in this root chakra, lives at the base of our spine in a dormant state. And it's sometimes symbolized by a coiled up snake, like a, a sleeping snake, coiled up in the base of our spine. And what happens when we have a Kundalini awakening is that this dormant energy moves up from our base of our spine and begins to move all the way up through our spine into our crown and through what's known as the chakra systems. You perhaps seen in like Hindu um, philosophy and Buddhist philosophy, I think they talk about as well, where you see these images of these energy centers in the body where they go where well, at the base of the spine there's red and then we move up to the sacrum and we see an orange energy centre and then we're into the solar plexus and we see a yellow energy centre and then we're into the heart centre and we see a green energy centre and then we move into the throat centre and we see a blue energy centre and into the third eye centre and we see a indigo energy centre and then into the crown centre where we see a white or a, a violet or a purple energy centre. And these symbolize the different energy centers that the Kundalini energy moves through and energizes and activates as it moves up the spine into the crown. And this is what can occur a very rapid and energetic spiritual awakening to our infinite nature in many of us. And so what happens is that something, consciousness, the mystery, God, suddenly decides that it is time for us to experience a Kundalini awakening. And not every, as I understand it, not everyone that goes through a spiritual awakening, at least initially, experiences a Kundalini awakening. It is a very specific type of awakening. It is not, it can be for some very enlightened beings, I believe, that have not necessarily got an awakened Kundalini energy in this way. And it happens for a very specific reason. And for myself, the reason why I believe I had the Kundalini awakening is because part of my destiny is to be a channel. If you've seen some of my other videos, I channel extraterrestrial consciousnesses among others. And the, the heightened energetic state of the awakened Kundalini energy enables me to tap into other dimensions of consciousness and begin to channel these entities and bring through wisdom into reality that can serve myself and humanity in this acceleration of spiritual expansion we're going through at present. So, so what happens is this dormant energy that is rooted in our base chakra, in our red chakra, and symbolized by the coiled up snake, the coiled up serpent, the coiled up cobra even, I believe, is it begins to awaken and it moves through all the energy centers and into our crown. And what happens as it moves through the energy centers is that it begins to highlight any out of alignment beliefs, any misaligned perceptions and frequencies that are discordant, that are out of alignment with our true nature, our true love, light, bliss, oneness nature that understands we are infinite beings made of love and light and worthy of all the love and unconditional love in creation. And so what happens is this energy begins to move up through the chakras and alightens all the chakras. And, we, and what happens is as the energy activates in the base chakra sometimes we'll feel a lot of fear around survival and like money issues and even sexuality and because what's happening is it's triggering all our fears anything out of alignment because in a sense the base chakra is a very prime evil energetic state and and it, it's it is there to keep us alive before we enter the awakened state when we are primal beings like surviving like as caveman many thousands of years ago, we relied on the base chakra to keep us alive. Like it's the fight or flight mechanism. Like if you see a bear in the woods running towards you, you're gonna run. And that's the, that's the base chakra kicking in. It's that instinctual flight or fight or flight mechanism. 
But the thing is, as we move into these heightened um, states of consciousness, we can still use that fight or flight mechanism. Like if there is a, a imminent danger, we can still use it to protect ourselves. But the thing is, it, it seems to, in the heightened state, we need to understand that we are infinite beings and we can't be panicking about money like all the time and going out of control. We need to learn to trust in the universe and trust our reality to support us. So what happens is we go through the rebalancing of that energetic state and, and, we, and, the, and the Kundalini, one moment. There's a plane flying over. Yeah, so the Kundalini moves up the spine into the base chakra and it triggers these um, survival instincts within ourselves and gives us the opportunity to redefine them. So anything that's out of alignment, like I need to worry about money and I need to plan for the future, is out of alignment with the awakened state because the awakened state is the knowing that we are infinite consciousness and we create our own reality within our consciousness through our vibratory state and the law of attraction. And we instinctually come to know this as the energy moves into the higher chakras. But if the basal chakra is still not balanced and we still have these misaligned beliefs, we'll continue to get triggered in the basal chakra and we'll start panicking as our consciousness rises. And we see this in many people that are going through a spiritual awakening but they can't stop worrying about money and survival and things like this because their fears are continually getting checked. The, the Kundalini is rising up into the higher chakras, but it's continuously getting jammed and causing these problems as these misaligned beliefs associated with the basal chakra get triggered. And then what happens is it moves into the sacral chakra and um, located sort of slightly higher up. And these, the sacral chakra is very much associated with self-worth, um, I guess somewhat sexuality as well and self-identity and if we have like beliefs like I'm not good enough a lot of these human beliefs I'm not good enough I'm not worthy I'm not a I'm not a sexual tyrannosaur if we have these beliefs in ourselves, these will begin to get triggered and we need to come to see that we are infinite beings worthy of all the unconditional love in the universe we are intrinsic perfect parts of creation and these stuff that we know intrinsically from our innate wisdom that we see as we tap into the higher chakras, but we're still activating these, in, the, these um, processes that were designed to help us in lower levels of consciousness when we were just beginning to um, find our way in the universe and it was necessary for us to, to judge ourselves in a way to help us survival. For, for, um, we needed to reproduce, so we, need to say, we needed to judge our sexuality and judge our validity as like viable... Um, male being to reproduce with but we, we come to see that this is not necessary in the high, higher consciousness because we are infinite beings and we don't really need to worry about our sexuality and our self-worth in this way because we know that we are infinitely worthy and built of love and light so we don't need to judge ourselves on our ability to attract a mate and like catch um, catch wild boar to feed ourselves and if if we're not good enough to catch wild boar we need to judge ourselves and observe that why are we not good enough to to, to judge wild to catch wild boar why are we not good enough to catch wild boar because this is necessary for our survival in an older state of consciousness when we didn't create we didn't understand or we were much tapped into a lower vibration where we didn't understand and we didn't create vibrationally in such a way so we needed this for survival and then what happens if we move there we, we move into the solar plexus realm and this is the realm of third density the third chakra third density the consciousness that we've been living in for the past several thousand years where we have come to evolve as a social species we have come to become a tribal species where our ability to survive depends on our ability to fit into the tribe, fit into the pack and create, like create communities, create housing, create cities and towns by working together and supporting each other, either supporting each other or fighting against each other to survive. And this was the method of survival. So this was a very viable level of consciousness for that era of creation. And so we have like this, how do other people perceive me? Do, does it, and it's associated with the lower chakras as well, like how does my, my image of the sexual tyrannosaur or my ability to catch wild bison and, and um, wild boar, 
how do how do my fellow man perceive me? Do they see me as a, a, a valid member of the pack, a valid member of the community who can catch the ball and reproduce and build houses and build community? And are these people perceiving me this way as a good person that is able to aid the community? Because they need to, I need to fit into this pack so I can survive. And that's part of that old consciousness. But of course, as we evolve into fourth density, we realize that it's not necessary because we're creating our reality vibrationally and we are divine beings here to share something very different with reality. And we're here to move on an instinctual level. And this is what's happening as we raise into the heart chakra. We move, we move into an instinctual based reality where we download our next steps on God. We download our next steps on creation from our higher self and the understanding that we create our reality vibrationally. So when we are in alignment with our higher purpose, which is perhaps to share the message of spiritual awakening with humanity, we are entering a vibrational state where we will naturally create all things necessary in our reality to support us through the law of attraction, through vibration. So we no longer need to rest in this social interactive state of the um of the solar plexus chakra and this is what's happening the kundalini is rising through us and it's enlightening all the out of alignment perceptions into the higher chakras and this is what triggers self-realization spiritual awakening the alignment to unity consciousness and the understanding that we are infinite beings of creation and with the kundalini awakening we will often experience very intense energies very powerful energies that can be um, unnerving and can cause a lot of physical symptoms in a lot of people. So, so this is my perception of a Kundalini awakening. So I hope you all got something from this. Have a wonderful day. Earth humans, Shivai.